Hello all of my fans on YouTube, Nicholas Vankoski here, and today we are doing another Let's Play. And this time, I'm not doing Citizen, Bur Citizen Burger Disorder, and instead, I'm going to be playing this nice little Gmod server. And it's one that, like, I've been looking forward to for quite a while. Uh, so, so, my videos of me playing something called Gmod Tower Reunion, um... It's a long story, and I and I didn't expect to start recording today, so forgive me for like pausing and having to, and just mumbling mumbling a lot for about nothing. It just uh, it's a long story, and to sum it up, uh, around 2009ish, 8ish, I can't, I don't know. This game Gmod had a server called Gmod Tower that was basically kind of like a social media platform game thing, comparable to something called PlayStation Home. Uh, it was quite popular, but then had to close in 2016 due to, um, I think, the people working on the game reaching, like, limitations for what they can, like, add and such. And so then they had to close it, and then they made it they made a standalone game that's supposed to be successor to that. It's kind of boring nowadays, since a lot of it's done through menus. And there have been people trying to revive the original Gmod Tower, and... The Gmod Tower Reunion was the company that made the originally made Gmod Tower. It was their attempt to bring it back, and it is kind of it's all right, not perfect, but all right. And this server in specific that I think is called like Old School Gmod Tower. I don't know what the official name is, even though I, even though I have been uh, following this for like a month, I think I can't remember. But basically, this is supposed to replicate how it was in 2010. And with me, there are there's the creator of the server and a developer working for him. There they are, Flynn and um, this guy. So uh, don't mind that; those are just my dogs. They hear uh, some a dog, the neighbor's dog barking. So anyway, let's just walk around the lobby, and I'll show you a nice little tour of the place. So uh, first off, normally you would spawn in there, but at this point that. The, but this point of development that the server is based off of, um, that wasn't finalized yet, and you would just spawn here. So, let's get to work. So first, you, when you go here, there's three little areas you could check out. There's the teleporters for game modes, like that ball race thing I was playing, the entertainment closet with a nice lot of stuff, and the theater, where you can watch YouTube videos. I don't know if that works, but let's start with... Hold on, who's this? Let me check this person. Okay, they. This is a poster selling m merchant. You could buy a bunch of amazing posters, like the like the acclaimed movie Zombie Land. I hope I don't get a copyright strike for mentioning that, and a bunch of nice little games and such. Uh, there's nobody over there, but it's going to the plaza. So here is the furniture store. You would go here to buy furniture for um. Something you get in here called get in this server called suites, which are like little, like rooms that you can personalize with the posters and objects and a lot of nice cool stuff. Uh, so furniture, not much I could say. Uh, a merchant that sells building blocks that you can use to build whatever you your heart's desire. You can make an entirely new room in your uh, suite and it'll be creative. Be creative to your heart's desire. And then over here, and then over here we have the hat store where you can purchase wonderfully amazing hats, like the Lego head that my uh, guy in my ball race videos have, um, 3D glasses, and all of other neat little things. And let's go up to the upper floor. Here is the souvenir shop where you can obviously get souvenirs like a globe, a clock, a hula doll, a jar, and a son of Buzo shrine, who is it's which is literally just a shrine based off of one of the original developers of Gmod Tower, if I recall correctly. Uh, I don't know how he's doing. I imagine he's probably working on Tower United or something. And here's the bar where you can get alcohol with drinks. That's really about it. You like hang out and chit chat with other players. Uh, if these don't open, they usually would open in the other versions of the mod tower, but this version of the lobby, as it's called, doesn't have 
that feature. So over here in the arcade is where you can obviously play arcade games. And there's a lot of nice little arcade cabinets. You could play, like, look, you can play such classics like Fancy Pants, Adventure 1 and 2, Morning Star, Doom, uh, Super Mario 63, a cool classic, I know. And my personal favorite, all the way over here, Flow. And it's my personal favorite because, like, how, because how I learned about Juma Tower was from a Let's Play video from some guy, I forgot his name, but there's him and two of his friends playing Juma Tower when I was still up, and I found it really hilarious because I liked how chaotic it was with all the players, with their own unique player models, and just constantly bombarding them, and I just, I loved it, but I didn't play it because I was too young and my mother didn't understand how the source was and stuff worked. And there is Flint, he's a little god, he's ascended to the heavens. So he's got achievement, and this is a nice little trick I'll give you for, give for all you guys who like to play. Uh, if you wear a top hat and try to play this, you get a nice achievement and a trophy. But unfortunately, arcade cabinets don't work yet, and a, good, a big reason why is because they were Flash games. And as you all know, Flash is dead, so I'm pretty sure Flynn will manage to figure out the kinks of how to get that to work properly again. Uh, did we talk about the electronic store? Well, let's check it out. So, here's the electronic store. You can buy electronics, like a function clock and TV you can watch YouTube on. And one thing that, like, all Gmon Tower servers that I've tried, because I have quite a few over the years that I was able to play, um, the original Gmon Tower had a functioning IMAP that was internet that you could play. I don't know how it worked, but I, I'd imagine that's the reason why not many of them have that, because that would probably cost a lot of money, and there would be a lot of lawsuits. But, now that we are done with the uh, entertainment plaza, let's go over here and look at this amazingly wonderful theater. Go. Uh, in Gmod's Horror Reunion, the theater is completely broken, and I don't know if, um, it works, if, if it works in this server, but we'll find out. Let's select, um... Hold on, let's just select one of my videos. Hold on. There we go. Name right, Spawn. I always, I always assume it's Spawn, but I've heard that uh, use napkin referred to it as Sponge. No, yeah, I said it as Sponge, but I prefer that, yeah, but I think it's Spawn. So, I'm going to buy a nice little sweet. And yes, my Steam name is Golden Simiseer. I like the Elemental Monkeys, and that is my opinion. So, my sweet is sweet number seven, and I'm going to show you all. Is. You can open it, you can open it, you can even lock it and unlock it. Here is a map. Windows, are, I mean mirrors are somewhat functioning, but again, this is an open beta, this is open beta, so a lot of stuff may need to be fixed. Here is this. This is a nice little radio, obviously. And uh, in that video, in that game, in that uh, Let's Play thing I was talking about before, um, like, the radio is there, and you would actually be able to play, like, radio stations, actual songs from, like, radio stations, um, and, uh, I guess, like, that can't be implemented now, because I guess probably the service that that required is 
dead, I don't know. And uh, one funny thing, uh, I, okay, I'm probably going to lose some subscribers for saying this, so uh, please forgive me if you are offended by this, but uh, I think in that video, there was like, in that same video, like, so, like the radio is playing something called like a gay FM, I, I can't remember, but, and it was like playing like Justin Bieber music and they found it funny for whatever reason. And again, I am not against the LGBTQ community, I, I just felt like saying that because I don't have much to talk about. So, um, there's Flynn, with his trademark top hat, and yeah, this is where you would get, this is where you would put your hat, and nice I don't know what's making that music, here's a nice little bed, let's take a nappy nap. Absolutely wonderful. And here's some modern art, a TV that every suite automatically comes with, where you can watch YouTube videos, of course. And with that out of the way, let's go and try and play a nice little game called Ball Racer or something. The uh, game mode is working. I don't have any money yet, so, uh... Okay, you know what? Hold on, let me just, get, let me just quickly do... I'm going to show you another achievement you can do to get money in this game. See, so I'm pretty good at this game to see. Like, this point on. And to, uh... Okay, I can't go up there. Okay, yeah, never mind. It was just like, there was just like, uh... It's just that there's like a... Achievement where if you go all the way up there... All the way up there and jump down, you get a lot of monies. And you're supposed to be like, well, but, no wait. Uh, never mind, I, I don't think this map actually has that. I'm probably gonna have a different thing in front of So, sorry for wasting time. Yeah, on to the game mode. There is GMT Adventure. That was never finished, so like your guess as to what that would have been is up to you. Stealth, I have no idea what that is. Uh, PvP Battle, Harvest, Mini Golf. Uh, I'm gonna join a game of Ball Race. Let's do it. Buckaroos. I'm gonna play Skyworld, the one that, that I was horribly awful at. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long to load. And let's hope that my thing is actually recording the audio, because it'd be quite awkward if, like, I wasn't recording my audio or anything at all. And there is my Steam profile picture, a golden Steam machine. It's like, hey, look, that's me. <laughs> oh. so. Sense, whereas here it's a lot more sluggish and precise, and like 
I can't tell if I which one I prefer best. Because like like I feel like it's like really beneficial it's, on some maps where it's really beneficial, but others it just makes it really hard to play. Like on memories, if I'm gonna talk about things, uh map is pretty good. Um like the uh sluggish control is working good there, but it's kinda of hard with the tower. Another difference between the Tower Light between the Tower Light Ball Race and the Gino Tower Ball Race is that in the Tower Light you get three lives, whereas here you get only two. Uh, I'm running out of my job. Six hours shift. What job is that? Okay, as I was saying, it's incredibly important. But hey, it's money on the table, and I have what is. How is this guy firing rockets? Uh, and I'm dead. What the fuck? Why am I exploding? Sorry that I'm not saying anything, it's just I really, because the game requires like, a lot of like, precision, 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 and focusing. Um, so for some commentary, uh, originally I was going to do a let's play of Citizen Burger Store, maybe Citizen Burger Store, since that's going to get this, because I heard that the update But I haven't, I don't know how to download that yet, I don't know if it's out yet today, um, and, uh, focus. So, and as I was saying, <coughs> that, that, so that new update is apparently going to come out today, at least from what I understand it is, and it's finally going to be like, multiplayer, which I don't know if it's going to be great, or So I get that I already said this, but I, again, I apologize if I offended anyone with that uh, sentence about the Justin Bieber and the gay radio thing. I can get a sentence to talk about And I'm not the next sign, though. I don't have anything against the LGBTQ community. I okay, finally I didn't die. Also, I'm pretty sure I should have said this before, but um, the original people that made some of our is a group company called Intel Games. Feel free to support them by purchasing Tower Unite. Thank <laughs> you. 
so that uh, that uh, project uh, plans for zombies online s that finally has a Discord server, and I will post an invite link to that in the description. Uh, not much is still happening other than I uh, plan to get some animation and all that, and. Uh, there's the um, Discord link thing, if you can see that right there. So if you want to join, I guess you could just type that in. So I'm having to copy and paste it here on YouTube. And also, gotta love that says, I, I was last year, January 1st, 1970, but I don't even think my parents have gone through puberty by then. Um, yeah, that's Gmod. I'm gonna try one last game mode. Hopefully that I can play it single player. And there, there are two of these things. There's supposed to be one, but I don't really mind. Grass World. I'm gonna play some Grass World, and then I will just stop them and then get ready to get my uniform on for work. There's my mother. Don't mind her. She's just talking about. She's on. She's just on the phone with my sister. Speaking of my sister, I'm going to be a uncle. <clears throat> Anywho, so Grass World, light, fluffy level design with a broader appeal to difficulty. Oh. 
a bit about them. So how about I just buy myself a nice hat and then can and then just show you all and then just show you all and talk a bit about the uh servers. Now I gotta try and figure out how to get myself a hat. How to get my hat. There's a Christmas present. I'll just press that I'll just get that now. Ooh, it's not even Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. 
I think I think I might know how to get that one out. Get the hat. Six. Eight. How could someone sell sweets for profit? Like, you just you don't even require money, just go. Be resourceful. Okay, got my crown now. Got the trademark King Boo crown. Hopefully, I don't get a copyright strike from Nintendo for mentioning that character. I don't have a good grasp on the cop on the laws of copyright. So for the best, I suppose. And now on to the game. I don't get what the significance of that is. Okay. Alright, so as you've seen before, there's Ball Race, which is what I've shown. Monotone, another game mode that never got finished. Um, it basically, from what I can tell, it was based off of something... I can't remember, Some, it was a game that had like swan in the name, and basically how this and what it's based off of work, where you're in a white void, and you fire blobs of black paint to try and figure out where you are, what's there, and what's where. The gallery, I have no clue what that is. Coming soon. Twist of the mind, don't know what that is. Puzzle impossible, don't know what that is either. Probably the epic, whatever it is. That, I said before, was never finalized, and you guess actually what that is. This is mine. Um, stealth, again, don't know what that is. Mini Golf, a game mode that actually was finished, and it's basically exactly what the name is. We call it Mini Golf, that's it. Harvest, don't know what that would have been. PvP Battle, again, self explanatory name. You can pick PvP Battle, but you can attack others. Purchase weapons from this nice lady, where you can get such classic weapons as the Baby Nade, the Chainsaw Grenade, the Kimbo, and the NES Zapper. And the Patriot, whatever that was. And over here, you can get nice things for your ball. I'm going to get the Spiked Ball Orb. It's expensive, and I want to give it to others. And that was Gmon Tower. Old school Gmon Tower. Thanks for watching. I hope I can get a I, this is my guy, senile old man with a gem lodged into his brain. Thank you all for watching. Sorry that this video was kind of boring. I just wanted the. It just I found out that this came out today. Felt like, just, just like doing a let's play and just to help advertise the server and have some fun. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and definitely please check out the server if you're interested. Have a wonderful day. Peace.